Alright, now, this Sunday you all have an essay due, which is our first essay. And the task is to write about either the Young Goodman Brown or the miseducation of the Negro. So, we see here the actual assignment. And we see our topic question. Basically, since this is a definition essay, what we're trying to get you to do is discuss the literary elements that correlate with the story of Young Goodman Brown. And some of the questions I've pretty much given you um, different elements that you can use. Um, the question that refers to the miseducation of the Negro um, just asks that you discuss what it means to be a Negro. when they said the main prevalent literary element um, key word there would just be prevalent prevalent would be fine but what I do like about it is uh, they develop the idea allegory they tell me what the allegory is um, they define the allegory and then they give an example from the text to show where the allegory is, uh, is set up now of course I asked them to separate the ideas but here you can see in their example they didn't just tell me the entire story and that's really what I want you to, to pay attention to that they didn't tell me the entire story they just discussed a particular aspect of the story so let's make sure that we do that um, and like I say you can click back to these papers at any time they'll be available for your viewing convenience but let's go to another essay these corrections because 
these are some of the errors that we typically make. Um, and but I do want you to see um, how this person developed the idea. Notice the errors so you don't make the errors. But at the same time, notice the things that I like. And here, once again, they started with allegory. She defined it first. And then she kind of developed the idea about the allegory. And then, boom, she gets into the entire, or uh, gets into the point of what she's trying to express when it comes to the allegory. So she didn't just tell me about um, the entire story. Uh, she developed the idea by using an aspect of the story. So make sure you get in and, and, and notice that and notice how uh, this student is writing. Not that you would, you know, of course you don't want to steal the individual's work, but you kind of want to mimic the format, meaning that you want to set it up, define it, provide an example from the text, and then close the idea out. Okay? Um, and like I said, that's available for you. Um, and like I said, I marked this paper up pretty, pretty um, bad. But um, you know, it's just to show you things that we don't want you to do. Uh, at the same time, I have another essay up here that's uh, one that I was not too fond of, but it just shows you the wrong things that. Uh, some students may do or what I do not want you all to do so there you have it I know each example deals with young Goodman Brown and not the miseducation of the Negro but we're not trying to show you um, both essays we want to show you one essay so you can just understand the format and you won't get lost okay now those essays will be Sunday at 9 o'clock want to try to put forth a diligent effort, um, make sure those papers are double spaced and typed in a Times New Roman or Curry New style. Um, the font needs to be 12 inches. Um, please uh, make sure that the format, meaning that you're ending in, or ending in every paragraph and you're not putting triple and double spaces in between paragraphs. Um, make sure you're not creating formatting errors because your papers will be returned if they're not formatted properly. Um, of course, if there's any questions, just make sure you shoot me a text. And like I said, the resources, um, the new papers and the good papers and the bad paper are available for you. Um, log in. Let's get it.